So we're gonna have a lot of information there. These are all grouped together because they have like bases. Remember that that's the title we gave to this. We have the product rule, we have the quotient rule. Over here, we're going to put the power rule. I like to think of the power rule as power to a power. So if, for example, we have y squared to the third power, what is this rule doing? It's saying 2 times 3, which equals y to the sixth power. So the action we're taking with the power rule is we multiply. So three rules here that are all dealing with like bases. One of them you add, one of them you subtract, and one of them you multiply. Turn the page. We did another rule here. I would like you to divide this section by doing this down the center. Put a big giant zero in the middle. Looks like my grade is That's so funny, Beck. Okay, <laughs> x to the zero power. Kenny, I'm going to make you guys go listen to these videos and hear how much oh, you do boo, talk. Boo. X to the zero power <laughs> is always equal to what? One. One. Zero. I got a blister. So if I have 1,000 to the zero power, it's equal to one. Inside your zero, I want you to put anything raised to the zero power equals one. She was, she left. So you could have something that looks like this. Nope. Much simpler than that. If I have all of this inside of a parenthesis as a power to a power raised to the zero power, it equals one. Even if I have a number raised to the zero power, it equals one. So if, if, if anything, like all three are just one, 